guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl how you doing i always say to stay subscribed join the family we always have a good time today's video is going to be all about this hair this hair was provided to me by ali grace hair i'm going to get into the details and everything else like in a few minutes but also i'm going to be chit chatting on how to be secure in a relationship while i go through the hair with you guys i didn't just want it to be boring i didn't want you to just watch me do my hair i wanted to also have a conversation with you the links and everything is going to be in the description box below if you want to check out the hair so without further ado let's just get right into the video i've worked with ali grace now i think like twice or three times on my channel that's because i really love their hair i have the ali grace water wave hair on and I have it in the length 22 and I have 180 density. Now, typically with Ali Grace, like they're very simple. They don't do too much, but then they deliver high quality hair. For this hair, I didn't do too much. I only bleached the knots and plucked the lace. If you want a tutorial on how I bleach my knots and pluck my lace, I'm going to link it in the description box below because I have dedicated videos for just that. I'm going to be styling the hair and talking to you guys a little bit. I love the texture so much. The hair. It's beautiful you guys will see now i'm going to just add serum you guys know i love the serum so much if you can find it find it i never talk about the name of this serum and i've had a couple people ask me this is the Isena argan oil or argan argan serum i think it's argan serum that's what it is now we're going to talk about how to be secure in a relationship sometimes people can really differentiate being insecure in your relationship and actually being in love and protective of your partner if that makes sense there are some certain things that you should not think about doing when you're in a relationship with that person being insecure in a relationship could potentially break the relationship i'm not even going to lie to you i'm going to be honest and tell you that so you picking to be with someone you being in a relationship with someone doesn't mean the person is the most beautiful person in the world honestly you are not the most beautiful girl in the world either the person doesn't have it all together and so do you you don't have it all together there'll always be someone that'll be finer like i've said a million times hotter more successful more ambitious but you're picking to be with a specific person and that's your choice and when you when you have made that choice you have to stick through with it like you know discipline yourself to make sure that your eye is not choking where it's not supposed to choke now the first tip give trust trust is the thing that could actually break a relationship faster than cheating can because honestly <laughs> when you don't trust your partner when you don't trust who you're with a lot of things automatically goes wrong from suspecting their every move checking on them to being completely crazy being an fbi agent like doing the absolute most surprising them not because you you won't actually surprise them but because you're hoping or actually trying to see if they're being sneaky i feel like that's just you giving yourself headache and i'm not even going to lie but that's one of the reasons why most long distance relationships don't work because people don't know how to give trust i'm not telling you to block your mind off when you see some things that are not sitting right with you about your relationship or what your man is doing but i'm just saying like why would you want to be with somebody you don't trust give trust be confident that whoever you're with isn't like the stories that you've heard on the streets because quite frankly like we hear a lot of stories we've seen a lot of things our friends come to us to vent so we know a lot of stuff but trust me who you're with isn't going to be the same person that your friend is with or was with so stop treating your man like who your friend is talking about my second tip would be Please don't check your man's phone. Listen, I'm not going to lie, I've done this like a lot of times. I've checked, you know, his phone a lot of times, but it's not healthy. And let me tell you, apart from it not being healthy, it is highly disrespectful because come on you guys instead of doing that i would recommend communication like strengthening the kind of communication that you have with your partner because sis if you communicate right i'm not telling you that he would always tell you the truth but most likely you would have conversations about everything and if you're feeling you if you're feeling a type of way or you have concerns about something you'd be able to ask him and you he will be able to have a conversation with you i'm not telling you that he's going to tell you the truth but to be honest with you i'd rather sit him down and have that conversation and let him lie to my face i actually go and start snooping around his phone because for me it's just not healthy that's just the beginning of everything falling apart i've seen this happen a lot of times where let's say there's a joanna calling your man and then 
you see the phone ring instead of you to just wait for him to answer and if he doesn't answer you ask him oh why why don't you want to answer or if he answers has a conversation is done and then you say oh babe who's joanna that's simple i'm not telling you he's going to lie to you but that's the thing like don't automatically think he's lying to you that's the beginning of like the downfall of your relationship but ask him i know people that can just go ahead and pick up the phone and be like hello hi then they start introducing themselves that's just doing too much listen that's just if you've gotten to that point in your relationship i, I think it's high time you break up with him because honestly it's your the relationship is going to end very soon honestly i just feel like it's not necessary some things are not just worth it so i'll say communicate i prefer to communicate with him that actually go and start snooping around his phone it's just it's just doing too much soon. now the third thing i'm going to say is Listen, you know how I've talked about confidence, know your self-worth? I need you to constantly remind yourself of who the fuck you are. I'm a spec. I know what I bring on the table, okay? So, no female, no colleague, no um, best friend, which by the way, I don't know why my man should have a better and I really don't condone that, to be honest. Like, now because I'm secure about myself and about my relationship, I just don't condone some certain things. Like, I'm your companion. So, what do you need her for? as your best friend chige i just don't i just don't like it it depends anyway but for me i'm not really 100 percent like with it know your worth just always set your mind as a reminder of who you are what you can bring to the table like how you look sis no matter what you think your flaws are physically like you don't like your nose your lips your butt your you have a fupa i have a fupa like no matter what you think is a floor sis you're drop dead gorgeous okay and you have to know that even if the person you're with at that time doesn't end up or now at the moment doesn't end up being who like you know you spend the rest of your life with does not mean that you will not find someone finer someone richer someone with a lot more sauce you will and with the way you look with the way you carry yourself with your confidence your self-worth like you know all the esteem all the power that you hold you find someone better you can always attract more if you have that mindset of who you are does not mean that you're going to walk around being like oh you're replaceable you're replaceable you're replaceable you're replaceable you're replaceable like you're not going to walk around like that you're just going to know that oh you don't have any reason to worry about the, the person he's talking to like the person he's having a chit chat with or the person he hangs around with or his colleague because you're that bitch okay you are as in line to what i just said my fourth tip would be for you to also trust yourself because sometimes we tend to focus on the trust that we give to our partner and not focus on the trust that we also need to be giving to ourselves listen you need to trust yourself you need to know that okay i am doing well in this relationship like i am doing the right things i am not i might not be perfect that's one uh, i might not have it all together in terms of what i am doing or not doing in the relationship but i am giving it my all and you should make sure that you're always trying to self-improve and you know make your relationship better in some way or the other so if you're if you trust yourself enough to know that okay you know what i'm doing good in this relationship i'm giving i'm putting in my one two three you know I, I mean i'm not saying that the person is not is going to appreciate it because sometimes people are just assholes they might not appreciate the amount of amount of time and efforts and energy and resources that you put into a relationship but i'm just saying you trust that you know that you're actually giving that so if they fuck up it's on them i already touched on this a little bit like in my second tip when i was talking about please don't go through his phone i'll say to always discuss concerns with your partner listen i'm going to go in and use like a styling form first of all i think i should put water on this hair first learn to table the matter with him table your concerns with him always try to talk things out like start with the easy way i mean the easy way should always be the best choice the only choice to be honest talk to him always try to lay your concerns i mean sometimes people might not like receive your concerns it just depends on your communication to be honest because sometimes your concerns could actually go the other way but it's relationship sometimes you both could be crazy and that's just how it goes like oh, why are you asking me about amaka or oh, why are you asking me about jane like why like do you not trust me that's actually a bad thing if you raise a concern to your boyfriend and let's say you see something that you don't like him communicating with someone that i mean just seems a bit sauce and then you go oh babe like i mean what what's the deal between you and jane for instance and then he goes 
what so do you do you don't trust me now okay that's a bit much okay like bro i'm just asking because I mean i love you and obviously like i had that tendency to be a little bit jealous so i'm asking you so you can reassure me that everything is fine approach actually matters a lot because it depends on how you're laying the concern don't just don't do too much okay like whatever the situation is is already happening anyway so i just don't see any reason to do too much so if you have a concern you lay to him and say oh babe like this is another you talk things out if it's an, an ideal situation or expect a situation for you to just talk things out and figure it out you know figure out the situation figure out what it is always talk things out even if you guys are going to actually argue because sometimes those type of conversations lead to a little bit of a misunderstanding uh depending on you know his response and your approach but <laughs> thing is to actually the goal is to actually talk things out ask him questions don't go out don't go around wasting your time being a detective because this there are better things to do with your time and that's just the truth and don't get me wrong i've done this a lot of times like in my past relationships i have wasted a lot of times trying to figure out you know a man and what he's up to sis if i ask you what you're up to because i feel like, like you're up to something and you don't tell me i'm not wasting my time on it well girls like when it comes to us and our cheating ass boyfriends or men that are actually doing us wrong it explodes at some point it does so i'm not going to waste my time the time that i'm supposed to using to get the bag and then i'll start using that and chasing you up and down looking for what's not looking for me because realistically speaking it's not looking for me it really isn't <laughs> let me tell you this you see all of you girls that try to test your partners trying to bait them to see what will happen <laughs> that is so toxic i don't blame the guy if he falls for it because at this point you're mad for you to sit down and try to test your partner trying to see if he loves you everything is going on right in your relationship nothing is wrong but your insecurities and then your anxiety levels just peak like trust me i guess that people are not always trustworthy like you can't always trust what they say from their mouth but if you can't then just leave the relationship because i don't see any reason why you need to do all that honestly it baffles me a lot when people just think that this is okay from absolute nowhere your boyfriend didn't do anything to you he didn't offend you and even if he did tell him have the conversation with him and say oh you offended me let's see how that goes if it leads to a breakup then fine well and fine don't be out here trying to create all the fake profiles trying to track him down see take that skill and go and join the cia the force go and join the force because you're definitely more useful to them than on these streets my last thing that i have for you guys is acceptance okay i don't know how to put this but hear me out acceptance and should i say comfortability and content don't always expect your relationship to be 100 percent jolly or rosy or every time you're going to be smiling having something to say going on dates having activities taking trips it's not always like that it's not realistic at, at the end of the day it's still a relationship and you're, you're both still going through life and figuring things out so don't expect that all of this will just be constant till the end of time that's not how it works and to be honest with you this is the reason why you start to create thoughts because maybe last week or the beginning of the week or the, or the first two months or three months everything was going so good in your relationship and then you know you guys had the honeymoon phase okay the honeymoon phase and then next thing you guys are more relaxed you know you're you've known each other better you know life is going on you're figuring things out but you're still together and he's not as jovial as he was um doesn't always mean that he's losing interest or someone else is distracting him or something someone else is taking his time because it's not usually not something for us females it's usually someone say oh who is taking his time uh, who is he talking to that he cannot stay on the phone with me yeah he could just he could just be stressed girl he could be stressed a lot of things could be on his mind and he's just trying to figure out life and then you you're there thinking that he has found a whole new wife like he's living a double life like you're just that's doing too much you just need to accept that not it's not every time it's not every time that things would you know be nice and happy and jovial there are times that you'll literally both be in the same room and be quiet probably maybe on your phones working on something or on your on your laptops working on something 
or just living your lives but together and that does not change how the person feels for you it doesn't take away from the relationship that you have the beautiful relationship that you have it's just how life is always learn to take care of yourself and i know we're going to always have times where we don't feel our best we don't feel like we're beautiful we're attractive we're good looking but try your best to always take care of yourself your hygiene like get your nails done your hair done look good you feel good inside and when things are happening around your man you're not going to feel like it's because you don't give him that physical attraction anymore if that makes sense you will not feel like oh he's not looking at you the way he was looking at you when you guys started dating because to be honest Maybe you might have switched up your style or maybe you might have been different from the person that he met. But one thing I'm going to say is, even if you're different from the from the person that he met, just make sure that the difference we're talking about is on the positive side. So basically, you blew the fuck up. Make sure that you look clean, you smell clean, you are clean. Your breath is clean. Everything is clean. I'm not saying that a man wouldn't cheat on you if you have all these things on check. I'm just telling you to take care of yourself and your mental health. wet and wavy type texture that's what this is giving right now i really love it a lot hey as you guys seen i didn't have to do too much to this hair i only plucked bleached and wood wick and then i used water and that was it that was all i did to get like this luscious curls and the hair is so soft you guys know i love ali grace i've worked with them like a billion times on this channel so I can trust them i hope you guys took a thing or two from this video like i tried my best to not talk too much because being secure in a relationship is as simple as saying just be secure in a relationship like if you love someone trust that they love you too until proven otherwise if you're doing something or you have concerns about something that is going on around your situation voice it out have a conversation and let it go i'm not telling you to trust everything they say but trust everything they say like if in a relationship with someone the one thing that you should mainly give is trust trust 100 percent trust until that trust is broken you have no reason no reason whatsoever to act otherwise or do too much and if if your trust is broken in a relationship since i think it's high time you leave the relationship because everything that happens from that point on <laughs> it's going to be a disaster and you really don't want to be in that type of mess thank you guys so much for watching this video and as per usual follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts below and i will definitely see you in my next one bye